Hey, Bill here with Chicago Outdoor Recreation. So today I want to talk to you about the Comanche Cinch Knot. And you'll hear this knot called a few things. Um, Canadian Jam Knot, uh, the Double Teton Knot. You know, I guess it depends on what part of the country you live in. But here in Arizona we call it the Comanche Cinch Knot. And it's a super easy knot to make. Um, this is a backpack I'm putting together for a guy who does search and rescue. And uh, it was quite a challenge. It had to be under six pounds. That was the requirement. And uh, I had a hard time meeting that, but this pack does weigh in at under six pounds with all its contents. But now we want to put a, uh, a bedroll on here. Now, I, do I have uh, Mylar emergency blankets in here and an SOL bivy? Of course. But nothing takes the place of a, of a good old-fashioned wool blanket. Of course, the wool blanket would take up a lot of room inside. And we don't really need to necessarily keep this dry because it's wool. If it gets wet, it still keeps you warm. So now we're going to cinch it to the sack. And we're going to do that. The simplest way I know how, and that's the Comanche cinch knot. And if you can make a knot, you can do this. So the first thing we're going to do is just make a simple, simple knot. Okay? Make a simple knot, and we want to have one finger's length of tag after that knot. So now we just have a knot. Then we're going to come over here, and we're going to make another knot. But with this knot, we're not going to cinch it all the way up. We're going to come up underneath of that knot and we're going to cinch her down. Now once you get this cinched down it's all smooshed together it's going really good and it's cinched down that ain't going nowhere. Here's another example on the other side one that I've pre-tied and now I'm going to cinch it down. What the heck did I do here? Well it's live TV folks let's uh let's try it again here. So we got the knot we make another small knot, right? We come up underneath it, and there we go. And it's just a matter of cinching it down at that point. And you can get these pretty darn tight, as tight as you want. Now you look at those two knots, those aren't going anywhere, and I still got a lot of tag here. If I wanted to cinch something else up, I sure could. But that's one way of fixing to your pack. Super easy, if you don't have straps, you just have some cordage. That's the easy way to do it. So I'm going to go over the knot one more time because, uh, you know, if you do things twice, it helps people. So let's undo them. First, let's see how easy it is to undo. We'll take this tail that we left, that one-inch tail, and we'll just do like that back and forth, and that unwraps it. That's how easy it is to get your bedroll off at the end of the night. We'll undo some of these with my arthritis. It's a little hard to... Uh, to manipulate lots like I used to, so that's why I appreciate an easy one that I can get undone in a hurry if I have to. But I'm going to show you this one more time from scratch, just to show you how easy it is. So here we go. I have a knot in there, and I have about a finger's length of cordage. I go down a little ways, and I just simply make another little knot. That's all I've done. I have a knot and a knot, but this knot isn't fully clothed. I come up in underneath, in through the loop, cinch everything together, and tighten her down. And uh, when that's all cinched up good, and that ain't going nowhere, that is a good tight uh, cinch, the Comanche War cinch. Till the next time I see you, this is Bill with Chicote Outdoor Recreation. You stay safe, you stay warm, and you stay free.